Hiya, you all right? I'm just going to get on with some dinner. I've got some chicken breasts. I've been to Cranston's. If you buy a bulk pack like this, it works out cheaper. You save a fiver, and a fiver's a fiver. So I want four chicken breasts. I'm going to put the rest in the freezer. Let's take four. I should tell you what we're doing, shouldn't I? We're doing really tasty chicken with an avocado lime dressing and a chopped bean salad um, in tacos. So you can use chicken breasts or chicken thighs. If you've got chicken breasts, just slash them because we're going to do a little marinade and we want it to get in and it'll help them cook quicker as well because we're going to cook them under the grill. So like this, give them a good slashing. Tablespoon of paprika, teaspoon of ground coriander. Now I don't like fresh coriander, I can't stand it. If you like fresh coriander, chop some, put it in. The juice of a lime. If you've got a dry old lime, just put it in the microwave for 20 seconds because sometimes they can be a bit dry. This one's all right. One or two cloves of garlic, you do you. That's just just, she's quite settled there. Sleeping as usual. I'm going to put in a chopped chilli. If you don't have fresh chilli, a teaspoon of um, chilli flakes or half a teaspoon of chilli powder. Into the bowl. About a tablespoon of olive oil, just to help. Mix that together. Get your fingers in, take your rings off, clean hands. Give it all a massage and a rub till it's all coated. Set the chicken aside, wash your board or get a clean one. Let's do the salad. I've chopped a pepper and a red onion I want my vegetables to be about the same size. I've got half a cucumber and I thought I'll show you how I do it. I get my tater peeler because I don't like all the skin. And I think if you remove some of the skin and the seeds, it doesn't repeat on you so much. So, so it's like that, cut it in half. Just take the seeds out, get a spoon and just go down it like that. Do it over the sink though because it makes a mess. And then as well, because I want some of this farine's bait tomorrow, because it'll be nice as a sal as a cold salad with the chicken chopped in, it won't go watery. If you leave the seeds in, it'll make your salad watery. I've got a tin of mixed beans. I'm going to drain them and rinse them, but use what you've got. You can use butter beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, just a tin of beans, not baked beans. <laughs> beans into a bowl with your vegetables. Oh, most of them have gone in. I snip in a couple of handfuls of fresh parsley. If you don't have any fresh parsley, just put in a tablespoon of dried. And if you don't have that, just leave it out. Or you can put in coriander if you like that. I can't stand it. It just tastes a perfume to me. It's your tea, you do you. Give it a mix together. You know how I like oregano? I'm putting a tablespoon in my salad. I feel like it needs some more vegetables in there. So I'm going to put a couple of tomatoes in. Don't forget, cut out that horrible woody stalk. Nobody wants to eat that. Get rid of it. And just chop it up. There, that looks better with a couple of tomatoes in. I just thought my ratio of onion was too high. <laughs> Salt and pepper it as you like. You know I don't tell you how much salt and pepper you like. You've got that covered. What I will say, if you put salt on this now, it'll encourage the water to come out of the vegetables and it'll be watery. So don't salt it just yet. Set it aside, let's make the dressing. For the dressing I'm using this mini blender, if you'd like the link for it, send us a message and I'll send you one. If you don't have a mini blender, it's fine. Just chop everything fine and mash your avocado. So we're going to put one avocado into there. You need a nice ripe one. Just spoon it out. A 
clove of garlic. I'm still grating it in because I don't want any lumps in there. I, want, I don't want to be able to feel any garlic texture. Juice of a lime. And some Greek yogurt. Not sure how much. Let's see. One. Should we say three tablespoons? And if we need to add more, we can add more. Salt and pepper it as you want. Give it a whiz or a mash and see where you're at. Give it a taste. It's nice. It needs salt. And it needs a bit more lime. Because you want it to taste limey. Taste it again. Better. This is what you're looking for, lovely smooth dressing. Right, let's cook. Put your chicken on a tray. I'm putting this under the grill. You could put it on the barbecue. This is a brilliant barbecue dish. Make sure the marinade's in all of those nooks and crannies. They need to go under a hot grill. You need to be in my kitchen because that smells bloody gorgeous. I've put a bit of honey in the microwave for 10 seconds just to loosen it up. And when the chicken's almost done, brush some honey over it. You can see how juicy it is already. Just brush it over. Put it back under. Turn it over. side. Chicken's ready. I've got some small wraps. I'm going to put a couple under the grill just to warm through. Half of this dressing goes into your salad. Give it a stir through. Plate this juicy chicken. How gorgeous is that? Just how delicious does this meal look? Can it get any nicer? Let's have it. Just cut a piece of this chicken. Perfectly done. Juicy. Tasty, tender, delicious. Let's have a taco. I'm going to put some of this gorgeous sauce, some of the salad. I've moved over here so I can get a proper go at it. I'm going to put some more sauce on, just a little bit. I'm going to give it an extra squeeze of lime. Let's have a go. That is so good. The juice, that chicken's so juicy. Honestly, if you are going to a barbecue, make this. You can make the salad and the dressing the day before. You just and put the meat in the fridge, cook it on the barbecue. If you take this to a barbecue, you are invited to. Honest to God. Such a crowd pleaser. There's no polite way to eat it. Just take a kitchen roll. Mm. 
this is <clears throat> to die for it's super tasty the chili in it doesn't make it too hot the honey doesn't make it too sweet it all just goes together it's beautiful give it a go get yourselves down to cranston's buy a tray of chicken get this on get your shopping list done the ingredients list will be at the end so that you can screenshot it Have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. Enjoy whatever you're making. If you do this, send us your pictures. Thank you so much for following and watching. And I shall see you soon. Don't forget to like and share. Can you do us a favour? If I've sent you an invite to follow me, can you accept it, please? I've got loads of people saying I'm not seeing you. You're not seeing us because you're not following us. Facebook decides what you see, not me. So don't forget to like and share. Please comment. And I shall see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Make this.